Hi, Sarah here from the Johnson Crew. Today we're going to be looking at the different curriculums that I've picked out for my rising fourth grader for the 2021 to 2022 school year. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I have four kids from the ages of nine to two. And so this year I'll be homeschooling the three oldest of them and we've been doing it since the get go. I kind of struggle from curriculum FOMO. So when I pick new curriculum, it's not always that we didn't like what we used the year before. It's just that I'm so interested in trying what all is out there. So uh, if you struggle with that as well, uh, you're not alone. So I want to share with you what I've picked out for my son's fourth grade year this year. And as we've gone along and I've added more kids to our homeschooling, I've discovered kind of my, my max for how much I can teach or feel not stressed to teach. Um, and so I've really been on the hunt for video based curriculums. So if that is something that has interested you, I'll leave all the links to the curriculums that we've picked out for this year um, in the description box below. So you can check those out in a little more detail. So the first subject I'll touch on is math. We're going to be using Matthew C, the Delta book, which is single and multiple digit division. This is a program that we started back in first grade and have loved, and I don't think I'll ever switch. I do love Matthew C. It is video based. Um, you can get the DVDs or stream it online. And so you just watch a short video each week that introduces the new concept and then do a couple of pages out of the workbook. Kind of show you that here. And then whenever you feel like they've mastered that concept, move on to the next lesson. Pretty straightforward. For English or, you know, language arts, reading, vocab, spelling, all of those things, we're going to be using the Ron Paul curriculum. And that was brand new to us last year. We actually used it for his third grade year and really liked it. So he asked to continue that for this year. So we're going to keep doing that. That's also a video based program. The videos are all online. And for each lesson that you watch underneath will be links to the worksheets and any other material that they want you to use. So what he'll do is watch the video. It'll introduce the new grammar topic for that week and he'll have a worksheet for grammar. He'll also have daily reading assignments and a reading journal and then weekly writing assignments as well. For history, we're also going to be using the Ron Paul curriculum for that. So the fourth grade history course begins with a study of inventions, starting with the Egyptian pyramids and then moves on in chronological order and shows how inventions influenced history. Each lesson examines one invention or an inventor. It explores what the world looked like before the invention came along, how it was discovered, how it was marketed, and what its impact on history was. This course is pretty unique in the way that it's taught, and it combines history and science to explore how inventions change the world. And it also helps teach the basic principles of entrepreneurship, which my husband and I are entrepreneurs. We run our own wedding photography business, so I really love the idea of more teaching on that for our child. For science, we're going to be using Science Shepherd, and this is a brand new curriculum for us this year. I found this one online. I honestly don't know anyone personally who uses it, so I'm really interested to see how it goes. But this is a video based course as well that streams online. They watch a video and then you also get a workbook. Love that it's all bound already. It's not like I'm having to print out a bunch of worksheets. So he will first watch the video online and then use the workbook to answer questions in every day. And it also comes with an answer key for us parents, which is very helpful. I found several great science programs and I actually let him pick out which topic he wanted to learn about this year and he chose astronomy. He loves all things space. So I'm really excited to see him dive into this this year. This curriculum is Bible based, so it actually does walk them through scientific evidence that shows that God was the creator of the universe, which I think is super cool. Our Bible curriculum this year is also brand new to us. It's from Veritas Press. It is also a video based program. We chose the Genesis to Joshua course for this year, which covers 32 events between creation and Joshua's last words. We ordered the flashcards that go along with it. Show you some of these. So the flashcards are pretty cool because they have a picture on here. You can be showing to your kids while you're reading all the information on the back to them. We also ordered the CD for memory songs and um, 10 commandment songs. Really excited about this. 
you know, songs are such a great way for us to memorize information and keep it locked in there forever. So I'm really excited to see how these go. And then the last thing that we got from them is Bible maps. So it shows you a map of what it looked like in Bible times. And then you flip this over and it shows you what that map looks like in present day. Pretty cool. Our extracurriculars that all the kids are going to do together are music and Spanish. And both of these are online classes. We're going to do the Homeschool Spanish Academy once a week. And that's a pretty cool program with a live teacher. And then we're doing a music class once a week through LumaLearn with Mrs. Middall. And I'm just excited for the kids to learn new songs and learn about composers and things like that. And I'm making videos for my other two children that are going to be in second grade and kindergarten this fall. So if you have kids that are that age, you can check those out as well. I will leave links below to all the curriculum that I mentioned today. So you can check that out further if you're interested. And I'll have to give you an update mid-year and let you know how all the courses are growing and how we like them. Thanks so much for joining me today and listening to what we're doing this year. I'd love to know what you're doing this year. If you've picked all or some of your subjects out so far, uh, drop those in the comments below. It's super fun to be a part of this homeschooling community here on YouTube. If you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and join us all here every week. Wishing you all an amazing summer and an awesome school year coming up. See you next time.